Welcome to the Exact Contact tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will show you how to create and use IDX Save Search Pages on your website. Save Search Pages allow you to create pages that display the latest listing results for virtually any combination of search criteria. Note that to use Save Search Pages, you must have the IDX Professional Package. To create a Save Search Page, select the IDX Control Panel option under IDX Setup in the left menu. Your IDX control panel will open in a new window. If it does not, be sure to select to always allow pop-ups for this website. Select the Listings tab and then select Save Search Pages in the left menu. To create a new Save Search Page, click the Add a Save Search Page button. Start by entering the name of your page. The description and intro text are optional. There are five choices for defining the search criteria for your page. The first two choices, basic and advanced MLS search, present similar search options to those that are available to visitors to your website. The polygon search options allow you, allow you to use an interactive map in order to set any shape that defines a search area. An example where you may use a polygon search would be to define a school district with complex borders. The manual option allows you to enter a specific group of listings by entering a number of MLS listing IDs. I'm going to select the, ML, the advanced MLS search option in order to return properties in Placerville with a price between 500,000 and $1 million and those properties with a pool. After defining the search criteria, click the Save button at the bottom of the page. To see your page and the listings currently returned by your search criteria, click the show link in the list. And my search returns 19 results. A saved search can be added to your website in a number of ways. To add a separate page to your site that can be accessed through your site menu system, click the show link again and in the browser bar, browser address bar, copy the full page address. Return to your website control panel and under theme options in the left menu, select menus. Under pages in the left side of the page, click the arrow next to the links option. Paste the page address into the URL field and under link text, enter the label that you wish for the new menu item and then click Add to Menu. The new menu item is added at the bottom of the menu structure. If I want to add this menu item under the Feature Properties menu, so I'm going to click on the menu item and holding down my mouse key, drag it up to the top of my menu. Under Featured Listings, making sure it's indented so that it's a secondary menu item. Then I click Save Menu at the bottom of the page and if I return to my site and update the page, I can see that my menu item has been added under Featured Listings and if I click it, I see my Save Search page with my 19 results. The listing results returned by a saved search page can also be added to any page on your website. To do this, return to your website control panel and click the Pages option in the left menu. Then, click the name of the page that you wish to add the listing results to. Place your cursor where you wish to add the listings and in the editor 
toolbar, click the icon that looks like a little house. Under the Listings tab, select the Listing Gallery option. And under Type, select Save Search. And in the Save Search list, select the Save Search page that you wish to add. Set the remaining options and click the Insert button when done. You will see a special code wrapped in square brackets added to your page. Do not modify or delete this code as this is the code that instructs your website to add the listing results to the page. Click the Preview Changes button in the top right to see your updated page without actually updating your site. And there's my page with my listing results added. When you're satisfied with your page, click Update in order to update your site. And if I return to my site and go to my About page, there's my updated page with my listing results. If you wish, you can also add a widget with a list of links to your saved search pages to your website sidebar or footer, depending on the theme that you have selected for your site. To do this, return to your website control panel and under theme options in the left menu, select widgets. From the available widgets in the left side of the page, drag the widget named IDX Save Search Pages list over to the primary widgets area of the page. If you wish, enter a title that will appear above your links. I'm going to leave this blank. You can either select to display links to all your saved search pages, or if you wish, you can display links to just selected pages. I'm going to select to display all saved search pages. Leave the checkboxes below unchecked to display the links on all website pages, and click Save to apply your changes. If I return to my website and refresh the page, the links to my save search pages are added to my sidebar. Click on a link, and there's the save search page with the 19 results that we created before. You also have the option to show the listings returned by a save search page instead of your featured listings on your site homepage. To do this, return to your IDX control panel, save search list, and make a note of the page ID of the save search that you wish to use. The page ID is displayed in brackets in the save search pages list next to the page name. Return to your website control panel, and under Customize in the left menu, select Content Options. For the IDX Listings on Homepage option, instead of selecting Show Featured Listings, select Show a Safe Search Page. Then enter the page ID in the field that appears, and click the Save Changes button. If we return to the website and refresh the home page, my featured listings are now replaced by listings returned by my Save Search. You now know how to create IDX Save Search pages and the various ways that they can be used throughout your website.